All right, so I get to show you guys a new laser I can add to my collection. I actually got this from somebody in New Jersey from Laser Pointer Forms. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name just in case if he doesn't want me to do so. So I don't want to go throwing his name out there in case he uh, has not given me permission to do that. Uh, but the driver has been designed by L-A-Z-E-E-R-E-R. -E -E and I'm sure you guys, if you're a laser enthusiast, you know who that is. Um, but the driver was designed by him, and it does have a soft start, which is great. It's a cool feature. I wish they all had that. Uh, but it basically takes about five seconds for it to ramp up and hit the 2.8 watts. So this thing is a monster, a 2.8 watt little tiny laser pin. And to give you guys a size comparison, so there's your average little sky lasers, uh, 80 milliwatt 405 pin. And then we have a Nightcore Tiny right here. Literally is tiny. Put that right there next to it. So you guys can see just how incredibly small this thing is. Uh, and I say incredibly small, it's not super small, but it is small and hard to believe that nearly three watts of blue light comes out of this. And I really like this particular laser because it has a diode that's been discontinued. And you guys will know what that diode is. It's the Nietzsche NDB7875. Now I'm not sure what the direct replacement was to that diode, but I do know that they have other ones that are probably more efficient and do have more power. Uh, like the NUBM 05, 06, 08. Like I said, I don't know if those are the replacements for it, but I do know that the diode in here has been discontinued. So this may be the only laser I ever have with the NDB 7875. Uh, so it's just kind of hard to believe that something so powerful comes out of something so small. Now, of course, this does use a single element G2 lens. You would probably get about 30% less power out of a 3E lens or 3 element, but the uh, buyer, I'm sorry, the, uh, the seller I bought this from did have uh, a G2 lens on there. Now the laser is powered by two AAA batteries and you can't get two and a half watts or 2.8 watts out of AAAs. Of course you have to use the 10440 cell. So I have a couple of EFEST uh, batteries that he did include. So I'm using a couple of EFEST uh, 10440s. And this thing is a monster. Uh, this maxed out my, well I have a laser power meter that only goes to two watts. So the meter I have only hits two watts and it shot up to two watts. Now the sensor itself can handle up to six watts. So I'm not worried about the sensor being burned on the LPM, but it does shoot up to 2000 milliwatts really quickly in a matter of seconds and then stops. So it definitely is hitting close to three watts, I will say that. In fact, this thing is so incredibly powerful that the duty cycle or the run cycle in this laser is literally 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. Uh, from a complete cooldown, maybe 20 seconds. I wouldn't have it on much longer than that. But if you've been using it and it's still a tad bit warm, you've been kind of doing it off and on, I wouldn't recommend more than 10 to 15 seconds for myself. Uh, because this thing gets really hot. Uh, I haven't got it to the point where it's really, really hot, but it has gotten pretty warm on me. So I don't want to take it much further than that. So as you guys know, dark surfaces or black things, usually dark things, burn very easily with lasers, but it takes a lot of energy to burn a white piece of paper. Uh, my one watt, uh, my one watt four four, I'm sorry, yeah, my one watt four four five and my 501B host um, will not burn a white piece of paper, absolutely not. It will if you focus it down to a fine hair point where that little focal point is right there, it will burn a piece of paper. But this is focused to infinity, so which basically means there is no focal point on this laser. I have it focus to infinity. So there's no, uh, basically no focusing on this laser. I don't have it focused and yet it still burns a hole through a white piece of paper. So as you guys can see how big that, that dot is, you can tell that it isn't focused in, there's no focal point. Um, so that's just, that's just clearly uh, amazing that a laser could do that without focusing. So yeah, this thing's definitely really powerful. And this is a just a normal average everyday little eBay laser pointer. Except this is a little bit different because this one was about $35 because this is a 515 or 520, I'm sorry, instead of your average 532. In fact, I think I have batteries in here just to show you guys. 
Uh, I took the uh, lens off of that. Anyways, 532 and then 520. So big difference. Actually, it's not that big of a difference. Be honest, it's really not visually that big of a difference, but you can't tell that there is a difference. Uh, so I'll put these aside. But I just want to show you guys the size comparison, how small this thing was, like a little average eBay pin. Um, she outperforms one of my lasers by, uh, the only G2 lens I've got is on my, um, my 16X, my BDR209 16X build. And um, that's for hitting about eight, you know, 700, 800. Uh, milliwatts on my 405 and so I don't really have any other G2 lenses. The most powerful laser that I got uh, is actually my PLTB 450B and that's actually hitting 1.69 watts. So um, aside from that, that's basically my most powerful laser. And so this is 2.9, almost three watts. So it's a big step up. So that maxed out real fast. So this thing is definitely hitting 2.8 watts. I wish my meter went further or higher than two watts, but unfortunately it doesn't, so. So the button is being pressed now. This is what a nine millimeter diode looks like. 